Okay, here we go with the next movie. Um, now you can see I've uh, put in the different cases, right? Uh, all the different route descriptions. Remember that this is X0 is uh, would refer to 750 in my array. And um, this right here is, is uh, uh, basically is creating an array on the fly called route desk, with for short for route description. And the array is a list with items in the list uh, basically, and this and in the way you access the array, this would be item zero, item one, item two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And in this case, they're just full of numbers, but the numbers are going to stand for something. These numbers are going to stand for something. They're going to stand for uh, the beginning x and y, the beginning scaling, then the destination of where the target's going to go to on the x and y, and the destination scale and step count. Okay. Uh, one other thing is, is in this. Um, in this game, what happens is uh, the um, the target will peep up, uh, poke out, and then it'll um, it'll go back. And uh, the way they do that is by uh, doing a little trick here, where they say um, uh, on route uh, ten, case ten, right? Um, if the route becomes this, this is the route here, and then they're going to say target route flip equal to true, right? And then they break out. So remember that uh, target dot route flip we had set it to zero which would be false now they set it to true which is the same thing as one so I could just change that to one it wouldn't change a thing so then we'll see what that does um, and what's what they're gonna do is because it's true they will add a hundred to the case number which will turn the route instead of into a random number into a hundred and ten and I'll, I'll have to show you how they do that um, so um, so we got the route flip in play now so this is how they do that Remember the route was uh, was uh, target dot route was a random number, so they changed that. So I'm going to show you how how to work that out now. And so instead of doing it this way, we're going to say if um, target dot route flip if target dot route flip, and if I just say if target dot route flip, that means if it's true. So as you're saying, just instead of saying, I could do this two ways. I could say if target dot route flip equal equals one, which would be equals is true, or I could just leave it just like that, and that will say, that essentially stands for is it true, okay? And then I'll say uh, target route flip equals false, right? Which sets it back to zero. Target route flip uh, equals false. All right, and target route plus equal 100. So that'll change the route instead of um, from the random number to 110, from 10 to 110, or from 11 to 111, as the case is going to be. So now we have to end our if statement. Okay, so there's the if, there's the opening curly brace and the ending curly brace, and then we'll say else, right, and then all of this will go into the else. So we'll just do that. Tab that over for style. Okay, oh, not that. And of course, else there's the beginning curly brace, so I need a end curly brace, right? So if the ta if target route flip is true, we set it to false and add a hundred, and that's our new target route. Else, let's get a random number, and our route will be a random number. So there's two cases here in this situation where the route will go from 10 to 110 and from 11 to 111 because they want a specific motion so the target will go one way and then back the other and once again I did not make up this code this is all a lot of this is from a book I'm just adapting it to my own purposes for the class and uh, the books out of print and um, but uh, but anyway um, then there's a couple of things here now we have to at the end uh, our function here is this is the end of our function down there so right after this curly brace I'm gonna add a couple more things here target dot underscore x equals and this is where we assign the values from the array route description zero okay and that'll set the targets target which is our dove our little uh, our little ducky uh, it's x position equal to the first member, the zero member, of the array route description, which would be 
this member essentially if it was if this was our route right here that would be the number right there 545 so then you just assign the rest target dot underscore y equals let's see here I'll just copy and paste okay and then I'll copy this whole line even and then change it and paste it and this time I'll say x scale equals copy paste okay equals the y scale and the y scale is going to equal route description uh, the array uh, member uh, two actually which is the third member in the array so that can be confusing if you lose your place there okay so that takes care of our x scale and then we need two other values target dot rx which in this case is going to stand we could say let's do uh, we could say well we'll stick with their with their um, their name their property name for the route so this would be route x that's probably what it stands for route description 3 and target dot ry route and I'm just going to copy this paste and then RS which is 5 and then there's um, one other uh, one other line that I'm going to put here but I'll do it in the next video and and then we're done well, I might as well do it now since... Well, I'll do it in the next video. So we have one more line and then this, um, and then this function is done.